After two draws in classical chess, it's now time for the rapid tie breaks between Hikaru Nakamura and Pragnananda. 25 minutes plus 10 seconds increment. C4 by Hikaru, the English opening. What is Prag going to respond with? He plays his knight out to f6. Knight comes out to c3. And now e5. Knight to f3. And we have the four knights. g3 played by Hikaru. Prag gets his bishop to b4. Hikaru pauses for a bit. Tries to think what is the line he wants to play. Goes for knight to d5. Many moves are possible here. But the sharpest of them is to push the pawn to e4. Prag plays it. Of course, he's very well prepared here. Knight h4. He castles it out. Bishop comes to g2. And pawn to d6. Now, notice how the bishop has controlled this square. So, you want to trap the knight with g5. Hikaru simply ignores it. Prag takes a moment, thinks a bit, and plays g5. Now, the knight is trapped. Look at Hikaru's expression. He's like, I know this. Now, the only move here for white is d4. But Hikaru blunders with a3. This is a big mistake. Bishop a5. And now, suddenly, Prague is winning. d3 played. And now, the point is, if you take here, then Hikaru wants to get bishop g5 and he's completely winning. But Prague plays the best move. c takes d5. And Hikaru must recapture. He takes back. Knight b8. And now the knight is trapped. Hikaru is completely lost here. He's just lost a piece. He takes on e4. G takes h4. Bishop h6 played very quickly. Hikaru trying to show Prag that he's still in control in this position. But Prag is, of course, aware that this position is totally better for him. G takes h4. And now the queen takes the pawn. Queen c1. Maybe some ideas of bishop g5. If you count the number of pawns, white has only one pawn for a piece. And also this bishop will sit beautifully on b6 to defend c7 and look at this long diagonal. Hikaru plays his king to h1 so that he can get his rook down to g1. Prag develops his knight. The knight will be well placed on e5. Bishop comes to f4. Time is in Hikaru's favor. He has 14 minutes, 49 seconds, while Prague has only 7 minutes, 57 seconds. He gets his knight to e5. Bishop g3, queen h5, and now rook to g1. The point is, the rook is trying to put pressure here, but now the file is closed with knight g6. f4. Well, it's not so easy to beat Hikaru in any position. He's one of the best defenders in the world of chess. But Pragnananda plays his bishop back to b6. And now the g1 rook is hanging. So e3 played. And you have to be careful about these, this attack here. So he plays his king to f7. Hikaru pushes his pawn to e5. He's getting a bit desperate there. Because Prag had everything under control. So he tries to open up the position. But after takes takes... Now, the knight can simply chop off the pawn. He takes it. Knight takes on e5. And now, Hikaru does not even have a pawn here. For a piece, he's a complete piece down. And, and he doesn't even have a threat here. Because bishop takes e5 can be met with queen e5 or rook e5. So, everything is completely fine. Prag now goes bishop h3 it's very logical when you are ahead in material you want to trade pieces and that's what he does with bishop h3 hikaru brings his rook into the game and he's trying to look at the f6 square he takes rook takes maybe if you can double here and put pressure but prag nips that idea into the bud he puts his knight here, cannot come to f2 the rook. The e3 pawn is under pressure from all ends. Another pawn is sacrificed. Prag simply chops it off. And now, maybe this rook can get activated from here. Hikaru gives a check, but the pawn will simply advance and block the queen. And you can see that Hikaru is definitely upset with himself 
the opening mistake that he played has led him to a position where there is no chance of making a comeback queen a4 played maybe he wants to give some checks here Prague has three minutes on the clock he goes rook e4 good move queen comes back to d1 and now you take the pawn on e3 so Prague is now a piece and a pawn up in fact a piece and two pawns up Hikaru pushes his pawn to a4 but he knows that these moves are futile now there's nothing much left but sometimes it's good to continue playing so that you can come out of that feeling that you haven't played well and get ready for the next game queen b3 played attacking the b7 pawn also looking in this diagonal Prague very calmly pushes his pawn to b6 and asks Hikaru where is your next move coming from he goes queen to b5 and now there are many many moves one of them is bishop d4 to get the knight to e3 to fork these two rooks whenever you give a check i have rook e7 to block so there's no real threat there and prague plays bishop d4 hikaru resigns and tells prague that the opening move was the main problem you know he forgot his opening there and uh, that's how he won let's have a look at what mistake hikaru made in the opening in this position, Pragnananda played the move g5. And this is a well-known position. In fact, Karuana has played it twice with white. Kramnik has also played it with black. We have had Levon Aronian playing it, Vincent Kaimar and so on. The only move for white to be in the game here is d4. And the move is very subtle. Now, you would understand that you can't take the knight because the moment you take it, bishop g5 is completely winning for white. So the main defense here is to take pawn takes now you save your knight go back to b8 now the pawn is defended here by the queen so next move you want to pick up the knight however white has a very powerful move at his disposal here and that is queen a4 and you will see that the bishop is trapped here it cannot go back anywhere and the game uh, is in white's favor so that's the reason why if d4 is played the only good move for black is to play h6 here and the position is still very very complicated it can go on something like knight e3 g takes h4 a3 bishop a5 b4 h3 bishop h1 and now you trap this bishop with c5 with a complicated but equal position also notice that after g5 what does not work is the move d3 because if you play a pawn to d3 then i can take take and play knight b8 and the same idea with queen a4 now doesn't work because the bishop does have the c5 square the pawn is not on d4 in the game what hikaru did was he just played the move a3 and this made it impossible for him that later on whenever when prag did this this and knight b8 there is now no point of queen a4 because the bishop simply drops back and the knight is trapped so the move a3 led to Hikaru losing the game. The only move for him in this moment was d4, but he had forgotten about this line at that point or had simply mixed up his preparation.